Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying for the first time telling you all of my opinion about two products from Rare Beauty. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. And today we were going to see what these two can do. I bought mine on Sephora and I'm really excited to see if they are worth it or not. I'm going to tell you everything about them, so if you want to know, just keep on watching. I am really excited to try today two new products from Rare Beauty. Like, they are not new on the market, but they are new to me. And I'm really, really excited to try them and see with you what I think about them. I'm going to tell you everything, all of my thoughts about these two products. And before I start applying them, of course, then I'm going to tell you which are the products. And the first one, it's this one in here. It's the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And the other is the Kind Words Matte Lipstick. I am really excited to try both of these products. I have two products from Rare Beauty, I think, and I love them. I think that they are perfect, so of course that I wanted to try more of them. I wanted to try more, I have to be honest, but they weren't available on Sephora, so I couldn't bought more. <laughs> but we have these two. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the two products and what they say here on the Rare Beauty website, it's Weightless Smooth Glide Formula dries to a natural skin-like finish in 48 shades. Poor pigments are packed in a super fluid serum-like base, making it easier than ever to blend and build your cover just how you like it. A little really goes a long way. Evens out skin tone and smooths the look of pores and it's no clogging or caking. Lasts all day without drying you out or changing color on you. Convenient, mess-free duo foot applicator lets you apply one dot at a time, all you need to cover your entire face. They say that this, you don't need a lot of product to build a good coverage, to use the product, and it says that it lasts all day without drying or face. <laughs> well, we'll see if that's true. I'm, I want to do a wear test of the foundation. Of course, you know that I always do a wear test of foundations and concealers and we are going to do that, of course. So the color that I decided to buy on the foundation, it's the 210 Hen. I don't know if it's my color, but I hope so. We will see when I open and try. <laughs> About the lipstick, they say that cushions lip with creamy soft matte color in one swipe. Innovative, flexible formula adapts to the shape of your lips for plush, weightless color that moves as you do. Lasts and lasts without budging while keeping lips soft, nourished and moisturized all day, never drying or cakey. The color that I bought was the Worth It and they say that it's a muted mauve. I'm really excited to try the lipstick as well. It was, uh, of all the colors, the one that called to me. So I bought this one. <laughs> Let's start applying the products, of course. I'm going to open the foundation first. Here we have the packaging. It's very beautiful. I really like the packaging of them. It's very simple. In here it's plastic, but it looks like glass if you are just looking at it. Here it's also plastic. I think that it's very simple, but very, very beautiful, the packaging of the product. I think that it's not a bad color for me. We will see. So they say that just applying some dots. I'm going to do three on each side, two on the forehead. If I need more, I'm going to pick more product and I'm going to use my brush to blend it on the skin. It gave me a very soft finish. I need more product, so let's keep a little bit more. It's very liquid very fluid, the consistency of the product, but this time I'm going to apply more and more product because I felt like the dots that I put are not enough for me, <laughs> for the coverage that I normally like. It's very, very fluid, very liquidy. Maybe I applied too much now. <laughs> I'm going to pick my sponge, just giving some taps on the skin. That's how I normally do with foundations. It's 
so as I said it's very liquid like the formula of it but I'm liking the finish that it's giving to my skin now that I also pick my sponge and tap it on everywhere first I didn't apply enough product and then I think I applied a little bit too much so I need to be careful the next time that I apply the foundation but I'm really liking how my skin is looking and I like the color of the foundation I think that it's a I don't think that it's too much of a difference like if I'm comparing it with my neck my face is always a little bit lighter than my neck but I'm really liking how the skin is looking I hope that you can see there on the camera I know sometimes it's not very easy to see but now I'm going to just finish the rest of the makeup like apply all the products uh, and then come back so we can try the lipstick so I'll be right back for us to do that so I'm back I just apply the rest of the products of my makeup and I'm going to tell you which products I use for concealer I use this one from Too Faced the Born This Way I applied a little bit to take the dark under area out of my eyes then I applied the powder this one in here from Huda Beauty I decided to use this one because it's a powder that I already know very well I use it a lot when I try new products like the foundation I always use products that I already know very well so I can know if something doesn't go right or if I don't like something I know that it's not because of the powder or because it's not one that I normally like for bronzer I use this one in here from NARS the color Casino and in blush was this one from Kylie in the color Crush for highlighter I use this one from Tarte the Expose Highlighter and for eyebrows I use this one in here from NYX the micro brow pencil that I've been really enjoying to use for eyes I decided to pick this palette and I used the, this shadow in here, the petals, to do a pink highliner today. For mascara I used first this one and then this one. So now it's the time for us to do lips and for me to try the lipstick. So I already took it out of the box, it's in here, it has a beautiful packaging, as you can see very simple. It's like a rosy, very light rosy color and this part in here it's gold for us to open you need to click and then you push and here you have the lipstick to close you just do the same you click here we have the lipstick this is the color i'm going to do a swatch so you can see the color that we have very beautiful i really like it it's a very creamy formula for what i saw when i was swatching it on my hand so let's apply it on the lips and see what i feel about it formula is really creamy and I'm feeling some scent from the lipstick but it's something very soft it smells very good the formula is really really creamy and I'm really loving the color of it on my lips it's a beautiful rosy tone it's really really soft on the lip I'm loving the feeling that I have with it on my lips so of course that I want to do as I told you a wear test of the foundation and I'm going to also come back and tell you what I thought about the lipstick during the day but before I go and come back <laughs> I want to tell you what I'm feeling also with the foundation right now I hope that you can see how my skin is looking right now with the other products that I applied that I showed you what they were I'm feeling like my skin is looking very beautiful I'm seeing my wrinkles starting to appear in here and that's the part that I'm not liking as much but other than that I think that the skin is looking very beautiful with the other products as well even though I applied powder it doesn't look too matte I just applied a little bit so I kept it on place that's what I've been liking to do with powders I am happy with how it's looking the lips as well I think that they are looking so beautiful like so simple something very natural to wear like on a daily basis I think that it's looking beautiful I think that it's a lipstick that I'm going to use quite often because of the color but also because it's very creamy it's very soft even though it looks matte because it's a matte lipstick 
it looks so soft on the lips. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and then I'm going to come back in the end of the day and I'm going to show you how everything is looking, all of my opinion about the two products. So I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back. It's been an hour since I'm wearing the makeup and I'm here to talk about the lipstick and the foundation. So let's talk about the lipstick first. As you can see on my lips, I don't have it anymore. I hate, it's not here anymore. Of course that it's not that matte long wear lipsticks, but like I had my lunch and I still had a lot of product on my lips. It stayed very well. At like 2 p.m. I hate some bread and I felt like I still had a little bit of product of lipstick on my lips. I already ate my dinner and I don't have it anymore. But I have to say that I really liked the formula of the lipstick. It felt always very hydrating while I still had it on my mouth. So I really think that it's a great formula. Of course, that it's not a long wear one. It's not you have to put more. If you want your lips to look beautiful and that they have lipstick, you have to keep applying the product. But I think that it's a great product. Now, let's talk about the foundation. And I have to say that I was expecting it to be better. I really have to. I don't have foundation on this part of my face anymore. I potted my nose one or two times during the day, but I tried always to like to do what I normally do. I like I came with the tissue and I do this and I don't like do this. I try to just do this and then like doing this with the tissue. Try not to take the product that I have on my face and I feel like this part in here doesn't have um, product here as well. Some parts of my forehead as well. So I really feel like in some parts I don't have product. I have to say that like for the first time that I use it, I didn't like it. And I'm really sad to say that because I really like the other Rare Beauty products. So I'm really sad to say that I don't like this one. It's not a good one. Like it, I know that it's been nine hours. It's a lot of time, but I have foundations that they look beautiful on your skin during 10 hours, 11, and during like heat, uh, like in August that it's very, that it's like 40 degrees. So today that it was cold, like I didn't sweat or anything like that. And it looks like this. So I'm comparing this one to other that I have that I know that will look good. I want to try it more, of course. I'm going to try the foundation more times, but for the first time, I don't like it. But the lipstick I did and a lot. So I know that I'm going to use it so much more. Now I want to know what you thought about the video, what you thought about the products, if you've already tried any of the two or if you would like to. So go down there in the comments area and tell me everything. And if you like this one and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video. And if you like this one, don't forget to also give it a thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there the social media that I use so you can go there and follow me as well. Now that we are almost in the end of the video, I just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching my video until the end. I really hope that you liked it and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!